High in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, one of the world's most advanced telescopes has just passed a major milestone. ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, is under construction here on the plateau of Chachnantor at an altitude of 5,000 meters. The telescope is being built by a global partnership between East Asia, Europe and North America in cooperation with the Republic of Chile. The first of its state-of-the-art antennas has just been handed over to the project. ALMA will initially comprise 66 high-precision antennas with the option to expand in the future. There will be an array of 50 12-metre antennas acting together as a single giant telescope and a compact array composed of 7-metre and 12-metre diameter antennas. The first 12-metre diameter antenna, built by Mitsubishi Electric Corporation for the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, one of the ALMA partners, has just been handed over to the observatory. It will shortly be joined by North American and European antennas. Our Japanese colleagues have managed to make this antenna work and uh, uh, meet the specifications. We are very excited about this because now we can fully uh, uh, equip this antenna for scientific observations. Antennas arriving at the ALMA site undergo a series of tests to ensure that they meet the strict requirements of the telescope. The antennas have surfaces accurate to less than the thickness of a human hair and can be pointed precisely enough to pick out a golf ball at a distance of 15 kilometers. This antenna handover is a major milestone as the observatory team can now proceed with integrating the rest of the components, including the sensitive receivers that will collect the faint cosmic signals from space. The antennas are tested at the Operation Support Facility at an altitude of 2,900 meters before being moved to the plateau of Chachnantor at 5,000 meters. The Operation Support Facility will also be the center of the observatory's scientific activities. ALMA is being built on the Chachnantor Plateau, high in the Chilean Andes, because the site's extreme dryness and altitude offer excellent conditions for observing the submillimeter wavelength radio waves for which the telescope is designed. In addition, the wide plateau at Chachnantor offers ample space for the construction of the antenna array, which is spread out and linked together over distances of more than 16 kilometers. The ALMA antennas must withstand the harsh conditions at Chachnantor, with strong winds, cold temperatures and a thin atmosphere with half as much oxygen as at sea level. This forbidding environment also poses challenges for the workers building ALMA. It is um, an antenna that has been developed and uh, which is very special because it will uh, be exposed to the high uh, altitude with the harsh environment of uh, high and low temperatures with strong winds and strong sunshine. The antennas, which each weigh about a hundred tons, can be moved to different positions in order to reconfigure the ALMA telescope. This will be carried out by two custom-designed transporters, each of which is 10 meters wide, 20 meters long and has 28 wheels. With ALMA, astronomers will study the cool universe, the molecular gas and tiny dust grains from which stars, planetary systems, galaxies and life itself are formed. ALMA will provide new, much-needed insights into the formation of stars and planets and will reveal distant galaxies in the early universe, which we see as they were over 10 billion years ago.